Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird and welcome back to Kirby Triple Deluxe. Last time we played the first few levels and we know our mission, good old King DDD, has been kidnapped by this mysterious spider-like villain, Terenza, and we have to travel the world of Floralia to get him back. Pretty simple, really. I don't know if I would trust Kirby to save me if I was kidnapped by a weird spider. I don't know. He's pretty reliable in the past, but I feel like Kirby would get to the last stage, he'd beat the final boss, he'd free me from my cage, and then he would just eat me or something. You, you know, you never know what to expect from a guy who built his house on a dream stock. Whoa, I got a cutter ability. Nice, there we go. If you noticed in the first thumbnail, Kirby's got a very special hat on. Danielle actually used the cutter hat and made it look like a bird, one of my little swimming bird guys. So that's kind of funny. <laughs> I like how she did that. The cutter hat has little wings on the side, so it was like perfect for that. That was a giant like waddle dee, but he looked more like a monkey. Hey, there's a Sir Kibble in the background. Get out of here. Blam! I like how he does that little pile driver thing when he has the cutter. Cutter's a very classic ability. This guy, little guy, the little fox Digimon monster, is named Chip, apparently. Thank you guys for letting me know that. I had a few comments. I did mess up in the first one, and I accidentally said that the whip was a new ability, and it's not. It's actually from Return to Dreamland, the Wii Kirby game. Ooh, what's up here? Hidden up the hill. Nothing, it looks like. Let's slide over this way. Cut that. Ooh, we opened up something. All these secrets. There's a Blade Knight back there. I'd probably rather have that than the Cutter. I don't know. The Cutter has nice range, though. Will this take us back here? There we go. So apparently the, uh, that was another tip I got. The orange doors you can actually get through again, but if it has a yellow star, that means it's one way. There we go. Got a nice sword there, looking like a little Link. It looks like they've tried to do different things to make him look less like Link, like he has a little puffball on the end, and the sword's a bit different looking, but it still reminds me of Link, of course. Whoa, we got a rocket. How are we gonna do this? Oh, we can like tilt it. Oh, I wanna hit this Waddle Dee. He doesn't even know what's coming. He's just having a peaceful rock walk on the beach. I think I can hit more than one, because we only... Oh, we blasted the one, and I missed it. Oh, we can do this. There we go. Let's shoot them right here. And I can load more of them. Yeah, this is weird. I'm, like, launching all these rockets. I should try to hit that last one on the big stone. Let's see if we can find something. Oh, we got a sunstone. Nice. Now I just got to get in the background to get that stuff. Here's the whip ability if I want it. There we go. I'll try that out. I didn't play all that much of Return to Dreamland, so I kind of forgot about the whip ability, but I got it now. I don't think I can break through this, right? Yeah, we needed those rockets. That's okay, it's just some type of iced tea or protein shake or something. The sunstones are way more important. We need a certain amount of them if we want to unlock the boss at the end of the world. So I'm going to try to get as many of those as I can. See ya, Bronto Burt. There's so many Kirby enemies, it's hard to know all of them, like I mentioned before, but I can remember a few of the basic ones. There we go. Kirby's really odd. I was just thinking about how small he was in the background. But Kirby's really strange because apparently he's only 8 inches high. There goes my meat! Oh no. That was like a caveman meat shank. The classic. Uh, but yeah, he's he's supposed to be only 8 inches high, which is crazy. I have a, uh, a Kirby like little stuffed guy that I got from the Nintendo World Store when I went to New York City. And that's about 8 inches, so it's like an accurate Kirby height. It's kind of funny. DDD's not much bigger, or day to day, whichever one you want to say. He's, uh, he's a little bit taller. I think they're both, they're kind of like really like small, almost stuffed animal sized things. It's crazy. There we go. There's the fire power up. Power up. I didn't use that last time. I got to get in the cannon. Hurry. Oh, we're supposed to push. Oh no. Did I mess this up? I want to get this fuse, but I have to go down there to get it, right? Oh no. I think we, oh, it'll come back. How do we get down there? Do we have to, oh, we just tilt this. There we go. And we got to get it to go on there and then do it again. So let me jump in here. All right, so I gotta tilt it and get it in there. Yeah, this is weird. It's using the gyro controls a little bit. There we go, pull it over and uh, just slightly. There we go, I got it. <laughs> it was a little lenient with me. I wasn't perfectly on there. There's another sunstone. Awesome. All right, I think there's like four in this level, so we gotta make sure we get all of them. I keep thinking there's like something secret when the cliff goes up like that or the, the ceiling. All right, but yeah, it's, it's weird how small the Kirby characters are. That's the same with Pikmin. That's another series where Olimar is the size of a quarter, the captain, and uh, the little people in that are all pretty much the same size. And then the Pikmin are like size of dimes. That's insane how small they are. <laughs> but then in Smash Brothers, they always size them up. Same with Kirby. Let's grab this. Here we go. Hypernova. Got another Miracle Fruit. I really like this power. A couple people mentioned this would be awesome for Kirby's final Smash in the new Smash Brothers, but they already decided that it's going to be like the Super Sword ability from Return to Dreamland. I, I kind of, I was like, I don't, it's a long shot, but I'm going to, I tweeted to Sakurai, 
on Twitter, because I know he pays attention to fan stuff, and I was like, maybe I could get him to uh, change his mind. It's, I know they're still actually working on it, because uh, there were a few things. They just announced recently that they added the Super Leaf as an item. I gotta wait till he turns around. There we go. His little glowworm butt. There we go. Um, but yeah, they, they just announced the Super Leaf, the little Tanuki tail for characters, and they said that that item actually adds height, and uh, they were thinking about making an attack, but they haven't finalized that. And it's crazy, because the S Smash Brothers is only a few months off. Like, it's very soon that it's going to be released, and they still haven't finished all the stuff in the game, and they haven't, like, finalized everything. Oh no! <laughs> I feel bad for those little guys. Let's go up this way, because I think there's a secret here. Oh, we might have to go the other way. Yeah, let me see. Whoa, there's all these little monkey waddle dees hiding in the background. Um, they're probably based off of little macaques, I'm guessing. I never thought about that with the waddle dee. Hey, turn around, you little worm. Get him. There we go. <laughs> I like their little star butts. But yeah, I was like, maybe Sakurai isn't too far in the game. He might... Oh, don't do that! Oh, wait, it cracked. Okay. I was like, oh no, I'm gonna get stuck back here. There we go. Maybe he's not... Yeah, I was like, maybe he could change it if he could change power-ups and make a new Final Smash for Kirby. Because I really, I think the Hyper Nova ability is a lot cooler, honestly, than the old, uh, we gotta go really far, I think, until it, like, glows. Oh! Oh, I bet I have to pull these and then do that. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. And then I can walk farther back and pull it really far. There we go. Blam! Boosh! Knock through there. Uh, I'm just, yeah, it's like, the, the super cut ability is pretty cool, but I was, I would probably rather have oh we blocked it how do we yeah can i like ground pound or i know i can fall faster but i keep doing that with the the old uh the wrecking ball i keep accidentally uh doing that where i knock that thing over and then i can't get to the power up it's strange i wonder how you're supposed to get past that fast enough to get in there we'll figure it out that's what i said last time about the keychain i have to go back to that one stage and see if i can get the one keychain that was on the other side speaking of keychains there we go the keychains are really funny, like, you can make them, uh, j dangle around on the, uh... Oh, we gotta suck the, uh, bullet in and then spit it back out. There we go. Let it turn around. Blam! The keychains, though, you can mess with on the title screen and look at them and spin them around and stuff, and they're pretty cool looking. And you can actually use the play coins to, uh, to get them as well. If you spend three play coins, you can get a keychain, apparently. It's kind of funny. I usually save a lot of my play coins to other games where it's like a little more useful to have them. Uh oh! Whoa! Good thing I dodged that. Is it gonna do it again? There we go. See, they always mix it up. Oh, I hit it too fast there. You gotta hover again. They like to mix it up when you have to do something repeatedly because they know you're expecting it. Ah! Uh, I, I puffed my air out and I didn't inhale fast enough. Kirby. There we go. Let's do it just preemptively. There we go. And blam! Opened up. Got the door. Anything back here? Just spikes. Just death for Kirby. Alright, we have two more sunstones we're supposed to find. Let's see. Can we pull this over? And what is that? Some type of nightlight? <laughs> Let me hit that or something. I wonder if I can suck it in. Oh, I bet I can pull the page or something. Whoa! <laughs> Get rid of the darkness there. That's the goal. I missed a sunstone somewhere. Hmm. I wonder where it'll... It could have been in that chest that I accidentally uh, blocked. But we got three out of four. I'm not sure how many are actually required to get to the boss, but we'll find here pretty soon. I think we have one more stage, and then we'll go to the boss. Let's do a golden, or a bonus game. Golden game? I don't know what I call that. I was thinking about the golden cannon. That's a really ornate cannon. There we go. We did better than last time, but not quite perfect yet. Kirby, your head's on fire. You little weirdo. There we go. Lots of stars. Doing pretty good. I think that was some curry or something again. And we got a triple star keychain. Alright, what else do we get? Blipper! Very classic Kirby enemy. I like when the <laughs> the characters in Kirby usually get the little goggles when they go under underwater. <gasps> There's a beetle in this stage. That means I can get the new beetle power-up. That's definitely a new one. The last time we had the bell when we were playing, so that was one of the new power-ups. There's a couple of them. And a bunch of classic ones, of course. I want the cutter, kind of. I do like flame, but I think I'm gonna just abandon it here. Is this cat the cactus? Oh, it's the spark! It's not the cact. I it looked like a cactus, kind of, because it was green. I'll do the spark, actually, because we did do the cutter before. Let's get this key. I don't think I can use my powers while I have it, so I have to be very careful here. Make sure I don't run into any nonsense. There we go. It's back this way. I feel like something's gotta be hidden, because they, they didn't, uh... There we go. Whoa, that was worth a lot. 
It looks like an evil star. <laughs> Is it, expecting it to be like the mushrooms in Mario, the poisonous ones. Ooh, flan. Thank you. Little bandana waddle dee. I'll save that for when I need it. Ooh, we got a mini boss, it looks like. It's Hornhead. Ooh, I think if I suck him in, I bet I will get the good old... No! <laughs> the beetle power that I want. Oh no, he stole my power. Give me that. I want that spark again. Let me see if I can... I think I can shoot sparks out. Oh, no, there's a star. Come here, buddy. I gotta figure out how to do some of these powers. Oh, because I know there's like multiple things you can do. I, also, I can also guard. That was a tip that people told me. And I can dodge mid-air if I hit it. If I'm like jumping, I can do a little spin. Let me just hit him in the bottom. Oh, man. <laughs> I gotta get him when he's not. There we go. Don't let his horn hit me. So yeah, I thought you could shoot sparks out, but maybe that's the plasma one. There we go. I'm just doing like a Blanca Street Fighter attack. Uh, beetles are so cool. I'm so torn on beetles, because in real life, they're kind of terrifying. The fact that they're these giant insects that can fly around. But then I'm like super fascinated by them, and they're awesome. This one's really cool looking. Hornhead. Get him a few more times. Just gotta get a little closer to him. Dodge that horn. There we go. Drop ability. I want... Oh, I want him. I don't want... I don't want that. Yes, we got the beetle. Okay. Supposedly it's randomized if you accidentally suck in two different enemies or two powers. But I'm glad I got the cool beetle power up. Here we go. So now we can, like, grab a bunch of them and <laughs> throw them around everywhere. It's kind of like the suplex, like wrestling power. I like it. Oh, we can even hover with it. It has, like, a different hover animation. That's so cool. I wonder if it'll tell me the moves. Yeah, it does. See? Flash of home. It's the king of bugs. See, if you pause, this is how it was in Superstar. You could, like, look at all the different moves. Spiral horn, hover wings, slam. Lots of cool stuff. I love the little beetle flutter. That's so cool. Make sure I grab all these stars. Come here, Bronto Bert. You're not spared from my horn. There's another beetle in the front there. The little beetle enemies are probably the easy way to get the beetle stuff. But I still got it from the boss, and I treasure it. <laughs> There's a lot of Nintendo games that I think of when I think of beetles, too. Because of the uh, Animal Crossing, they're super, you know... They're the, probably the most profitable thing, other than maybe, like, the sharks. But they're a little easier to get than the sharks, usually. Um, I need to take this key over. Ouch! Bronto birds are hurting me. Oh, it's Grizzo. This is probably the cutest Kirby enemy of all time. I love Grizzo. Hey, Grizzo. I don't think he has a power, so I just gotta beat him up. He's so sad when he gets hurt, though. This is his little headband. Oh my gosh. Okay, that'll take us back. Can we take the key with us? Whoa, look out. These Bronto birds are coming after me again. I want to see what's over here, because didn't we? We didn't go to the background in this one. Let's try this out. And it has an orange star in it. I wonder if that means that I can get back. Like the one guy told me. Thank you guys for all your tips. I know a lot of you guys grew up on Kirby games as well, and you have a lot of fondness for the series, like I do. I uh, The first Kirby game I played was uh, Kirby's Dream Land for the Game Boy. Uh, that one, my, my cousin had it, and I played like a little bit. And I was really impressed with it, because it, like it was very simple. And a lot of Game Boy games, they really dumbed down a series, whereas Kirby, the, the characters were, like, super expressive still, even on such a small screen. You look at, like, Super Mario Land for the Game Boy, and Mario is all tiny and doesn't look right, and he throws weird balls instead of a fire flower thing. Weird stuff like that. So it's kind of cool when they retain the uh, the character and make him look, oh look at Grizzo. See ya, buddy. I'll leave you to your habitat. I like that he has a headband. Oh, there's Gordos. I don't know if I can hurt those. Whoa! You're so cute, and then you get so evil. Why does that happen? You're so weird. There we go. Haha. -ha. I knew I could slam on him like that if I tried. Alright. See you, Waddle Dee. There's a sunstone that I want to get. The beetle power up is pretty cool. I do like it. There we go. How do I get in there? There's got to be a secret way into the background. Oh, don't want to hit those guys. Let's look out. There we go. Hello. I need some life here. I don't think I... I don't think I used my ability for my little Waddle Dee flan. I, maybe I did. I don't remember it. Okay, we don't want to go in there because that means we can't get back. So let's do this. Let's <laughs> just fly over the whole stage. Okay, hopefully we can get back to there sometime because uh, I don't see a way to get back there right now. Ooh, we got to travel forward past these Gordos. What the heck? I didn't get hit there. That was weird. I can't tell if some of them... That one's in the background. Yeah, they're not really moving though. This is weird. Those ones are in the background. <laughs> you have to make sure you know which are going to hit you and which can't. Yeah, I'm going really far in the stage, but I don't know... Oh, here we are. Now we're in the background. Thank you, Invincible Lollipop! Go, go, go! Kill the Waddle Dees, the Waddle Doos, the Gordos. I think I can kill a Gordo. 
Kill the Cappies, kill the Grizzos. There we go. That's what I wanted. Cupcakes for everybody. <laughs> Sunstones. Awesome. I really needed those cupcakes. I was running out of health there. I've got a decent amount of lives, so I'm not too worried, but yeah. I want to kill a Grizz or a, a little dude there. The uh, Gordos. There we go. So many enemies to keep straight. Let's keep going here. Yeah, I like the beetle one a lot. We probably won't be able to keep it forever, but I love it. Oh, here we go. On a little boat. Flying across. Nope. Oh, kill these guys. Everybody. All the elemental enemies. <laughs> the uh, I was mentioning, yeah, I played Kirby's Dreamland for the GBA and kind of... Oh, my, my beetle. It's gone. And I got my first taste of a Kirby game, and I liked it. But we, I didn't really play too much more Kirby until we borrowed Kirby's Adventure for the NES. And uh, we did one of those borrow trades with one of my sister's friends. That's always risky, because sometimes you never get your games back. We actually had we had Donkey Kong and California games for the NES, and we traded my sister's friend to borrow Dr. Mario and Yoshi. Still two good games for NES, but we never got the, uh, the games that we... Oh no, my key. Is the key just gone now? And I lost my sword. I gotta be careful. Yeah, I gotta get the key all the way over here. I went for the stars, and that was a risky choice. At least I can hover. There we go. Go, Kirby, go! <laughs> yeah, I gotta go grab that key again. But yeah, we never got our Donkey Kong and our uh, California Games game back. I think later I got California Games at like a thrift store, but we never got the Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr. NES compilation back. Oh no! Someday I'll find it again. But yeah, borrowing games is a good way to play stuff that you might not have, especially when you're younger and you can't, you know, afford getting all the games that you might want. There we go! We got all the sunstones in this one. We're only missing one sunstone so far, so that's pretty good. But yeah, I played Kirby's Adventure, and I was like, oh my gosh, Kirby can copy the abilities of all these... There's a new one, Needle. Or not, it's not new, but it's new for me in this game. <laughs> That's what I meant. But yeah, Kirby, Kirby being able to copy abilities from enemies was, like, crazy. It was, like, mind-blowing. I'd played Mega Man, where you can get the uh, boss abilities, but never, like, a game where you can copy a bunch of different enemies' abilities. Whoa, <laughs> we're just wrecking everybody on our little warp star. I accidentally called it a pop star in the first one. That's actually the planet that they live on, pop star. And Dreamland is like a little part of it. There we go. Get out of here. I like the spike one too. Needle. There we go. There's the last door. Ooh, oh, I wanted that bell guy. I think you can actually do this, where if I run over and then run back, he should be here. Hello, little bell? There he is. Yeah, I want to try the bell again, because that's a new one. Let's go through the door. And we're going to finish with our little bonus thing. Thank you guys for watching. What was your first Kirby game? I'm curious. Because, yeah, there's so many Kirby games and so many side games. Oh, I almost got it perfect and then I messed it up. But yeah, there's been so many Kirby games over the years, and some of them are, like, really inventive and different stuff. So I'm curious, what's the first Kirby game you guys played? Starman. That's an Earthbound enemy as well. <laughs> With the same name. Spear Waddle D. Doesn't have the bandana, so he's not nice. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Next time, we're going up against the boss, and we definitely have enough of those sunstones to fight him. So we'll do that next time. Ooh, looks like a familiar face. See you then. Goodbye. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> Realistic keychain physics.